All right, we're back on this 2011 Camry, and I told you this is the one where there's nothing happening in the compressor. It's a clutchless compressor, so it's driven all the time. So either there's no signal going down to the solenoid valve to change the displacement, or there's signal to it, but it's not changing. They're gonna do that with TechStream. I gotta get on to my other one. I just thought I'd whip out this camera real fast and show you another quick recharge. Already did the recovery. It only took like 120 seconds. It was really fast. Um, let it go on the vacuum pump for about two minutes and we're down about 18. It was never open to the atmosphere in the first place. I just want it filled so if it does work, if it is just a connection or something sending a signal there, they can, I don't have to come back and I just charge them uh, for that service. If it turns out it needs the valve replaced, then I just, I'm right over on the other side of the hill and I just drive on the other side of the hill tomorrow morning and recover it and they swap in and the valve in and out. No matter which way it's getting done anyway and it's gonna get done right. Um, and while we're here and I have this on the vacuum pump a little while, off of these fishkers uh, just changed out uh, one of the technicians was changing out modules sometimes like one single cell or just the electronics in the battery go bad and this is for my solar system I have about uh, 20 of these batteries packs now these are uh, not lithium-ion these are uh, nickel iron phosphate they're very durable long long lasting batteries modules so about 20 of these this is the wall charger and uh this is where you plug in your wall either your 110 or 240 and it could charge the pack at i think it's 350 volts on the whole pack itself because i'm gonna this is all for a solar system i'm gonna see how i could implement this as a charger if i'm going to use it or not or scavenge parts out of it uh this is the inverter this is what takes the battery batteries and invert the power to be used on the motor and I'm gonna play with this little puppy here and I don't know if I'm just gonna scavenge parts and they're coolant they're coolant cooled so they're just not radiant cooled these things are actually cooled by coolant so even if I do I just get a radiator um, from one of my shops when they're doing a radiator pull slight damage repair it uh, I get fans for free so if I did need a cooling system I could build my own uh, glycol coolant loop system i get plate exchangers that are just slightly nicked and damaged out of cars and i can make my own plate heat exchanger my own air to water heat exchangers do my own refrigerant systems all for my uh, solar system battery backed up and basically all almost all for free all right guys uh let's let's fill this guy up so boom boom we're ready let's zero this out make sure it's always check that your scale is working scale is working okay i got my low side off vacuum off we are 500 let me see what is this focus and i need to focus because i can't read anymore i need yeah where are we are 550 grams okay so, off, vacuum is off, high side is open, I'm hooked up to the scale, I'm reading, I zeroed, one, two, three, give us refrigerant, and we're off to the races. And I need 550 grams, we're charging up, how many seconds does this take to charge the system to it's completely full? I don't know, you guys do the measurements. Okay, I'm choking it down. Now I'm just opening and closing a little bit to get it there. There we go, I'll stop right there. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for government work. And I got more liquid inside here. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, we'll see what happens with this vehicle when they give me the update after they use the Toyota tech scan on it. See ya, bye.